Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is a little bit different. I'm gonna be dashing here with my iPad Air 5th generation with data on it. So here we are, we do have the DoorDash app loaded up. We're already online, uh, but today it's gonna be a little bit different because I also lost my schedule. Oh, we're getting an order, look at that, 625, 2.5 miles. There's that DoorDash chime right there, you can only hear um, on the iPhone stuff, we're gonna take a screenshot. There it is. Cool. We're gonna go ahead and accept that. Anyway, so let's see here. Super chicken. I'm cool with super chicken. They're 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 pretty decent. They're not super slow. Oh, we're getting a stack. 475. Oh, but I know where it's going, and that building is terrible. So we're gonna go ahead and decline that. Now I do miss my uh, you know, I guess the nick is the same now with the one touch decline. Uh, we are tracking our miles today with GridWise because, you know, I don't have DUH on, on, on the iPad because there is no DUH for the iPad. But we're going to go see how it goes here. Welcome to Google now. Oh, man, do you guys see the student driver? Do you guys see the student driver? I get it. You're learning. What kind of turn was that, bro? What kind of that you'll fail this man right now? Fail him or fail her. What kind of what kind of student driver turn was that? You guys saw that, right? I mean, he looks like a young guy, but still, that's not cool. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, we got a message from Tony, the hustling hey, hyena. Sunrise Valley Drive. Oh, okay, I know where I'm going. I don't need to hear all that. Um, but anyways, we're going to see how it goes today. Uh, and I am... Do you guys think I should bring the whole iPad in? I mean, that's a lot of work. But it would be a lot easier to do that than to like pull it up on my phone and do all that stuff. So I might, I might just bring the iPad in every single time. Maybe we'll get some funny looks. Who cares? Um, but anyways, we're pulling up here to uh, Super Chicken. So we're going to say that we arrived. But the problem is we only have a schedule from 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. So one hour. I've been trying so hard. I lost my schedule because my mom had an appointment at the doctor. She, you know, she went a little longer than, than what she was going to. Like, she was running late. I tried to edit my dash. It would not let me. It would not let me. And by the time she got home, I was like, man, I don't have a schedule anymore. But anyway, so there's no parking here. But we can, we can just park right here, to be honest. I don't say anything. They're not, they're not going to tow me. So we're just gonna go ahead and just, you know, quote unquote, illegally park for a little bit. Get this picked up. I'm bringing the whole iPad in, I don't even care. Let's go. Alrighty guys, it's really windy, so hopefully you can hear me okay, but we got the whole iPad right here. So you can see it looks really big when you put it on portrait mode. Um, but anyways, let's see the food's ready. Let's see, let's see. Hey, I'm just picking up an order. Uh, Keiko? Para Keiko. Yep, yes, yes. Thank you. Hey, all right, guys, we got the food picked up. We're gonna say we picked it up, confirmed the pickup, and here he is, we're on our way. You know, it's also going to one of the buildings that I absolutely hate, but that's okay. I'll show you how I'm holding out the iPad in a second, okay? So I'm gonna get a lot of questions about that in the comments. But first, we gotta put this in the hot bag. Put that in the hot bag so it stays nice and warm because you don't want the chicken to be cold. Uh, so as you guys can see right here, hopefully you can see this okay. There is a, a like a little magnet bar right here that I bought from AutoZone. It's called Magnate. I've never seen them anywhere else. Uh, and then I have a bunch of magnets on the back of the iPad. So then bam, just like that. You see that? Just like that. Now I know where it's going. I'm not a fan of this building. This is the one where if you don't if the concierge is not there, it'll be a pain in the ass to get in. Um, but you know what? One problem at a time. One problem at a time. But yeah, would I recommend dashing with an iPad? I mean, I'm more of an Android guy, as you guys might know. I'm an Android guy through and through. But, you know, the iPad is pretty nice. Anyways, we'll see you guys. Yeah, here we are in this awful, awful building. We're almost there. And, of course, we're using the hot bag to carry the iPad. Because <laughs> why not? Let's see here. We're so close. 232. There it is. We found it. This down for a second. Put that over there and see what the camera looks like on this thing. Take a photo, of course. A little bit blurry. There it is. Hey, pretty good. Let's see here. We completed that delivery. Once it's loading, confirm. Bam, guys. Just like that. 625. In the bag. And I've been trying to extend the dash here. Ooh, we're getting an order. Oh, that's garbage. 9.25, 8.2 miles. Go ahead and decline that. Ooh, our acceptance rating is pretty low. 
I'm still gonna keep trying to get another schedule for later. Uh, nothing there. We're good till one. But yeah. Oh, another order. 7 Eleven. 625, 3.8. I think we can get something a little bit better than that, especially from 7 Eleven. So we're gonna go ahead and decline that. Let's see. Would you guys have taken that? Let me know. We'll see you guys in the dashboard. So we're gonna try it in portrait mode. Um, I think it looks a lot better this way. Gives me gives you some like Tesla vibes. You know what I mean? Um, but anyways, so after you know declining that order that you saw, I got this one right here from Grill Kebab, paying sixteen seventy five. Catering bag required. I think it's like six or seven miles. Eleven items, if I'm not mistaken. So of course we're gonna go ahead and jump on that. Um, so I'm glad that we didn't you know settle for that seven eleven order, which I almost did mainly because this dash ends at one. And it's already 11.47. And I keep checking in to see if I can extend the dash. So, yeah. I think this would be a lot better if I had, like, an iPad mini. You know, because when I bring it inside, it looks like I'm holding a big-ass tablet, which I am. I'm holding a big-ass iPad. Um, but you know what? I'm liking it. I'm liking it. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I think it's a lot easier. I don't have to worry about my phone and stuff. I mean, realistically speaking, I wouldn't be bringing it in every single time. I could just pull it out on my iPhone or pull it out on the Android or something. But, um... But yeah, so far so good. Let's go ahead and keep here it going. Grill kebab. Luca, they're opening up a new restaurant here. My Zal Latin Street Food. Nice. The other place, Brown Bag, closed. I mean, I'm not surprised. The place was always, always empty or closed. Let's see here. Now, will it be ready? Maybe. Maybe. I think I look so funny carrying this big ass iPad though. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's not ready. Hola. Vengo por una orden para Siorba. Kiorba? Siorba? Siorba? Siorba. Uh-huh. Looks like a lot of food. Es todo eso, eh? So no. <laughs> okay, gracias. Okay, guys. So we ended up waiting just for a couple of items, but you know, a little bit. We're like 10 minutes past the pickup time. Current time is 12:09. We gotta be there in 15 minutes. Um, it's a lot of food. We got both bags here being used, both catering bags. Hope you guys can see that. I'm hope I'm hoping you can at least see what I'm what I'm seeing, because you know it's. Um, I think there's a little bit of a little bit of a glare, um, but yeah. Hopefully you guys can see you know what it looks like here with. The portrait mode right here. I, I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. Um, and we're only, only, <laughs> we're only 15 minutes away here from the drop off. I was able to extend my dash though until 1:30. Uh, so we're slowly extending this dash. Hopefully we can find a bigger gap, like a two to five or something like that. But because you know, extending it every 30 minutes is a little bit of a hassle to be honest. But anyways, we'll see you guys in a few. Okay, guys, so back to the OG look here for the vlog. But anyways, um, quick little update here regarding my dash cam. I did get it fixed. So, weird. Both my SD card and the actual dash cam itself, like, went kaput, died. But like I said, I had, I had the same one and a different car, so we swapped those out. So I swapped the SD card and put it in the other one, and that worked. Um, so anyways, so I think I might have already shown you some footage. I don't even know, but it's working. It's back. Um, which is nice, much needed, I think, because you never know what might happen on the road with those student drivers, right? So anyways, we're 10 minutes away here from the drop-off. Korean time is 12.15. Let's go. Okay, guys, we got the order dropped off, and it went up. I was... You know, pleasantly surprised. I thought it was not gonna go up that much, but now we're sitting at 31.53 for the entire dash. Not bad, not bad at all. Been online for exactly about an hour. So 31.53 for one hour, we'll go ahead and take that. Now, we do only have the schedule till 1.30. I'm trying to extend or, you know, schedule on the dash. So far, no luck, but everything can always change in a few minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and keep trying. Uh, but yeah, that's the current update, so not too bad. Let's go. All right, guys, we were driving back. We actually got an order here from Total Wine. We just picked that up, paying 11 bucks, four miles. Then they sent me a stack, paying, I think, $6 in a, for less than a mile. So we're here at Noodles & Company. It's supposed to be ready, bringing in the iPad as always. Uh, let's see, the food's ready, though. And after this, we're going to be almost at 50 bucks. That's pretty good. No luck extending the dash. We still got plenty of time, though. So let's see. Ooh, and I don't think it's ready. Or maybe it is. Let's see. Picking up for Bianca. Uh, 
Tengo un orden para Bianca. 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 Ok, gracias. Vamos. Oh, this bag is about to give out. Hey, but you saw we got the food picked up, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm it. And let's see. Okay, so the first drop off is the alcohol. Where is this going? This doesn't sound familiar. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and record the whole drop off too. I want to see if he's gonna have a reaction when I pull up with my big ass iPad to scan his ID. <laughs> I think it'd be kind of funny. Um, but yeah, anyways, we'll see you guys in a bit. This box is low key kind of heavy. Hello from Mr. Greg. How you doing, sir? Right. A quick second. Cool. Here you go. Thank you. And then just a little quick signature. You can just squiggle something over here in the middle. That's fine. Cool. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. It did go up a little bit to 1425. Shout out to Mr. Greg. Okay, now, okay, by the way, guys, they added another delivery. They added another delivery. I've never seen that before, at least not, not, not here. A third delivery as I was pulling up to, to the second drop-off from Chipotle, which is where we're going next, which is probably right next to the drop-off for $7.50, which is interesting. But yeah, whew, we'll see you guys in a few. Uh, so the second drop-off is in the same building as the Chipotle, but this is more on the, the office side. It says here, go to the sixth floor and you know, ring the bell and give it to her. So that's what we're going to do. So hopefully, you know, she's there. I mean, technically we're a minute late, so let's see how this goes. Whoa, this floor looks rough. Looks rough, rough. Where are the numbers? 610, we're looking for 600, 650. Uh, where is 600? Probably not in the abandoned looking side. Let's see. Okay. What the heck? Okay, so not this way. Nothing this way. 610, we're looking for 600. Oh no, 610, I'm sorry. 610, I'm so dumb. 610. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. 610. Hi. How are you? Cool, here you go. Thank, Thank you so you much. So Have a good day. Much. Enjoy. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. All right, we're gonna go ahead and complete that, confirm, and let's see how much we got. Hey, 1544, we will definitely take that. That is a mini banger, if you will. And now we're gonna go back. God, they're adding another order. 725, 2.3 miles. You know what's interesting? There, it, it's, apparently it's busy. Yet I can extend my dash, but we're gonna go ahead and take the order from Chipotle as well, because we're already here. Uh, we're at the store, perfect. Um, but yeah, interesting. I'm gonna try and extend my dash it doesn't let me extend my dash what the heck anyways guys we'll see you guys in a few okay guys so as you saw we got the order dropped off and after doing that we get a, another stack now could it be coincidence that they started doing that today in my area or is it an iphone thing and because i'm on android normally i never see those i don't know what do you guys think if you have an android have you seen this third off third offer i don't know why i can't say offer third offer have you guys seen that in your market let me know because before this i've never seen that today it's happened twice they added the order when I was pulling up to do the alcohol delivery. And then they added another order here when I was pulling up, when I was dropping off basically the other order. So now we got both Chipotle's picked up. Um, we're on our way to the first one. I've been trying to extend my dash. No luck. Even though it seems like it's fairly busy, uh, the dash is going to end in 20 minutes. So sadness, uh, unless, we, unless we're able to extend somehow, which I'm hoping that we can. So that's the current update for now. Uh, what are we sitting out for the whole time? I mean, it's on the screen for you guys. 61.22, that's pretty good. 61.22, and after these two, we're gonna be almost at 80 bucks. Hey, that's not bad. That's pretty good, considering we started kind of late and we didn't really have a schedule and whatnot. So yeah, anyways, we'll see you guys in a few. Okay guys, so we got both orders dropped off from Chipotle and now we're sitting at 75.97. And I thought I extended my dash. I saw one come up from 1.30 till 10 p.m. So I hit on that. And everything went through fine, but now it's saying that my dash ends at 1.30. And it's not the schedule until later, like around 4, that I found a different schedule earlier. So I don't know what's going on, but okay, my dash ends right now. And we're, you know, we're done uh, at 1.30. I'm going to just get some food real quick and then just hope that we can get back on the schedule. 
Um, but yeah, that's really the plan. I mean, I don't really have money. Oh, well, there's a bug in the car. Ah, oh, not anymore. You're dead. You're dead. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we're sitting at hey, 75 97 We'll take that. Now, we have five minutes to get something else, which will be cool. But, you know, you never know. So, anyways, that's the current update. Hopefully, uh, you guys have been able to see the, you know, the, the iPad. Yo, I think, I think the iPad is giving me good luck today because it's been really busy. And I'm still, you know, having a little conspiracy about those third deliveries that have been popping up. I have not seen that on Android. So, you know, watch me go back to my normal routine tomorrow and I don't see those either. You know, so interesting. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's the current update for now. We'll see you guys in a few. Let's get it. Okay, guys, quick update. Quick update. It's 2 o'clock. We took a little break. Well, we kind of had to. I had no schedule. Ate some food. Um, had some Peruvian food because I was, I was craving it. After going to Super Chicken, I'm like, man, let me go to Super Chicken. So we're in Super Chicken. Had some Peruvian food. And I was there the entire time, like, refreshing the schedule. And what do you know? We got a schedule from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. And then I have a 3.30 to 5. And then, like, a 5.30 to 7.30. So basically, we made, we made a little Frankenstein shift. And we're back online. Um, getting some garbage orders right now, but we're sitting just shy of $76 for the whole dash. So I still think we could make 200 today. Um, and we're getting again garbage, but anyways, let me get back to the town center and then we'll see you guys. Alrighty, guys, it's a little bit of waiting. We have our next set of orders here from Taco Bell and Total Wine, paying $15.50, going to the same customer. We already got the alcohol picked up. We're, we're here at Taco Bell, uh, but interestingly enough, though, the pickup time is 2.59, it's 2.35. So I'm really hoping that this is ready. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Of course, we're bringing the iPad, you know what I mean? You know what I feel like? Have you seen those people that like try to sell stuff door to door? I feel like that's what I look like right now, walking with this iPad. So let's see. Oh. Hello. Hi, I'm just picking up an order for Kevin on DoorDash. Kevin. Kevin M. Okay, guys, we just got the order dropped off. He was literally staying at the hotel next to the Taco Bell. And I was just, I was curious. I asked him, it's like, you couldn't get your Taco Bell? Oh, well, I didn't say like that, but I was like, oh, I don't know if you knew, but Taco Bell's right here. He's like, oh, yeah, I saw it, but I have a little dog and I can't leave him by himself. And I thought about that and I was like, I didn't say anything else. I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, let me scan your ID, all that good stuff. Um, and I thought that was kind of strange. I mean, dogs are fine by themselves, you know? Uh, at least my dog is. So I don't know, maybe he has like a dog with like, you know, like uh, separation anxiety or something. Or maybe he doesn't want the dog to trash the hotel, the hotel room. That makes a little more sense. Now, after I picked up the order here from Taco Bell, they gave me a stack from Taco Bell, paying $2.25. So of course we declined that. And now we're making our way back here to the town center. Current time is 2.45. I don't know why my dash total is not updating, but that's not a big deal. It might update with the next order, who knows? But yes, yeah, the current update. So I think right now we are sitting at like 90 bucks. So let's go ahead and keep it going. Okay, guys, quick update, quick update. After dropping off the two orders, we were getting nothing but garbage. We made it back to the town center, but then I forgot, or at least I failed to realize that my dash was about to end at three. It's 302. Now we have to wait till 315 to get back on. So we're gonna go ahead and tune in the Manchester City game versus Real Madrid, second leg of the Champions League semifinal, which I'm, I got some money on Man City. So Man City better not let me down. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and watch the game until 3.15, and then we're going to get back on. We're sitting at 91.47, so not bad, not bad. I mean, the goal is always 200, but, I mean, we started kind of late today, a couple of gaps, but overall, not a bad Wednesday, definitely not bad. We can at least make 150. I'd be, I'd be pretty cool with that. So, But a 200, 200 is even better, though. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Anyways, see you guys. In the okay, guys, so we haven't talked about it. At least I don't think I have in this video, but the contract violation is still there, which means DoorDash is not going to remove it, which is so BS that it said the order was never delivered. I really wish it would tell you at least what order. You know what I mean? Because how are you supposed to dispute something when they're holding all the info on you? Which is super annoying. Um, but anyways, we're back online. It's 317. We got an order from Savage Burrito, a.k.a. Uncle Julio's, if I'm not mistaken. Um, or maybe the other way around, Uncle Julio's for Savage Burrito. I don't remember. Um, the order's paying 825, less than three miles. We jumped on that. Uh, did a little bit of waiting, but I did not mind because I, I was watching the game with the other guys at the bar because Uncle Julio's is dead right now. So I waited like two or three minutes. Then we're back on the road. The game still 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, but again, Man City needs to win. Of course, by the time this video comes out, you know, it's already going to be out there who won and who lost. But I believe, I believe. 
Anyways, for four minutes out, after this, I think this might be enough to get us to $100. If not, it's gonna be like just shy of it. So anyways, we got basically about four hours left. Can we do 200? Maybe, why not? Maybe, I mean, yesterday out of nowhere, we got that $39 banger for Morton Steakhouse and Wegmans, so it's possible. You know, it's not uh, impossible, that's for sure. But um, yeah, anyways, we'll see you guys in a few. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, Ricardo? Yeah. Hey, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? Good, man. Not too bad. Just got to scan your ID real quick. Ooh, that's fine. One quick second. All these steps. Passport, right? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Alrighty. Try to load up a glare. Let's see. Yeah. Cool. And then just need a quick little signature from you. No worries. And then, hold on. Cool. You can just click or something in there. Cool, man. Have a good day. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Take care. Okay, yeah, guys, quick update after dropping off the order from Uncle Julio's. We've been sitting there doing anything except watching this game. Man City's up 2-0, and I don't even care that we're not doing anything. Uh, I think we're at, we're at $100. I think so. Or we're at $100. My bad. Uh, current time is 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock, and it's been extremely slow. But again, i just been watching the game, just waiting for orders. Got Empire running. Got Grubhub running. Completely forgot about Grubhub until like I realized it was dead, and we're not getting anything either. So, yeah, that's the update. So, yesterday... A lot busier than today, that's for sure. Tomorrow's dashing plans, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure if we're going to start early or not, but we'll see. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of liking the whole iPad thing. I mean, I probably wouldn't bring it in everywhere. I'm just doing that for today. Um, but you know what? Before, when the apps were so much different, I could say, oh, you know, I want to do Android because I have the widget and this and that. That doesn't, that doesn't apply anymore, you know what I mean? So I think I might keep it like this. I don't know. Uh, low key, I kind of wish it was an iPad mini because it'd be a little bit smaller. But at the same time, who doesn't like the look of this? Look at this. Look at this. Who doesn't like this look? Look at that. Oh, we got a power up there. Um, but yeah, we're just chilling right now. We're just chilling, waiting for orders. Uh, I was watching the game on my phone. But yeah. So, anyways, whoa. That's the update for now. We'll see you guys. Hey okay, guys, quick update. So we took a small bathroom break, came out, and then I had paused my dash. I could, you know, use the bathroom in peace. And then when I went to resume it, I actually ended the dash. So that was that. But luckily, it's technically busy, so we got back online right away. So this dash is from 4.12 right now until 5 p.m. And the next one is from 5.30 to 7.30. Um, so, the, you know, the gaps are minimal, if any. Uh, and now we have an order. We got this order right here from Uncle Julio's paying $12.50 for like four or five miles. Absolutely. Why not? Uh, catering bag requires, so it could be perhaps a banger. Who knows? Before before accepting this order, getting bombarded with 250 orders, 225. Like right now, between 205 is like no tippers galore out there, and it's just nothing but no tip offers. And you gotta really filter those out, and then you know get lucky with something like this, or perhaps even a 625 three mile order. I would have taken that if I would have seen something like that. I would have taken it. But anyways, now the only issue, if you want to call it that, is that it's 412. And the pickup time is 424. So that's a whole 12 minutes from now. Um, but we're almost at Julio's. In worst case scenario, I just wait and watch the game. Um, so yeah, there's, <laughs> we're probably going to end up doing that, to be honest. Because I doubt that it's ready. I want to see if it's a big order. It's eight items, although two sides of guacamole, three sides of flour tortillas. I mean, yeah, it's a decent amount of food, but it's also a lot of sides. So anyways, we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, we got the food picked up. It was actually ready early, and I was... Low-key, I wasn't really minding the waiting because I was watching the game. And you know what sucks about watching sports when you're using, like, when you're streaming it? It's always delayed, you know? Like a few seconds, sometimes 20 seconds, sometimes 30 seconds, sometimes even less. But in sports, 30 seconds is a long time, you know? So it was kind of nice watching the TV, like, at the bar, you know? And it was funny because I kept seeing, like, Grubhub advertising, like, on the background, you know, where, where like, the, the, all the ads are. And I'm like, how is Grubhub? I, I know they merge with, like, a European company, right? I think it's Just Eats uh, in, in Europe or whatever. But, you know, that's crazy the amount of money they probably spend in advertising because I'm sure Champions League advertising is not cheap. You know, I would probably compare it to, like, the NBA playoffs or maybe NFL playoffs, something among those lines. Um, but it's crazy how, like, they're spending a lot of money in marketing, but I feel like... They don't have that much, at least not in my area. I mean, it, no, no, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm getting a, a little more orders. I mean, I can't even talk. I'm getting more orders lately, you know, on Grubhub, up, but still. Anyways, we got the food picked up. We're nine minutes away, 4.3 miles. By the way, Manchester City is winning 2-0, so the bet is in the bag. I mean, at least as of now, but 
anything can happen in soccer that's for sure so we're gonna not talk about it anymore so we don't want to jinx ourselves um but yeah anyways after this we should be around 112 13 dollars maybe unless it goes up which it could be you know it could be it could go up higher you know so anyways we'll see you guys in a all right guys we got the order dropped off from uncle julio's it actually went up to like 1670 if i'm not mistaken uh which is nice drove all the way back got nothing um the game ended man city won 4-0 so i'm happy about that and then we got this offer right here from uh five to make a boba 950 a little under four miles not going to my favorite building but i really can't pass up with 950 right now it's so slow um but yeah current time is 509 so we are running out of time we got two hours left and 150 is looking like we barely might even make that so you know again 950 you couldn't pass that up just could not do it so a little bit of traffic right now we're seven minutes away for the drop off but that's okay let's go Alrighty, guys we're just looking for unit 347 we're so close 344 same building as before it's a freaking maze over here hate it I absolutely hate it but we're so close it's gotta be right here yes perfect now we're gonna take a picture Cool. I think it's actually quicker if I go this way. Let's see here what we get. E950, nice. I'm thinking the first order that's gonna come through is gonna be trash. But it could, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so my dash ended. And I can be, well, I can get back on now, so it doesn't matter. Perfect. I'm gonna get back on. Let's see. So I think right now we're sitting around. I don't even know, to be honest. It's on the screen. But at least 150 for today should be impossible. Theory. Let's see. No, I'm trying to remember which elevator I came from. But I don't remember. I don't remember which elevator it was. But it wasn't that one. I know that much. I think it's around the corner. Anyways, we're not getting anything at the moment, as you can see. But yeah, so we'll see you guys. Okay, guys, when we were getting out of the elevator, we got this order right here from Papatella, paying $9.75, I think like 3.5 miles. We are so close here, as you guys can probably tell right there, to Papatella, two minutes away. Will it be ready? Probably not. Papatella is not the fastest, um, but that's okay. That's okay. I mean, $9.75, 3.5 miles. We're sitting around $125. So after this, almost $135. No complaints. Let's go. There's a firehouse that we delivered to a couple, was last week? A couple days ago, I think. Uh, here we are at Papatella. Yo, check out this. What is this? A Fiat? I don't even know what this is. But anyways, the order should be ready. This is pretty cool. Um, let me see what it says here. It's a 1973 Fiat. That's pretty dope. I wonder if, if, it, if it runs. Like if you have to. I mean, the tires are shot, but you know, what else is new? Um, let's see. Papatella, real hit or miss. Hopefully it's ready. We shall see. Hi, I'm just picking up for Ronald on DoorDash. Yeah, thank you. Let's see here. Ah, cool. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. Hey, nice. We dropped off here from Papatella, and we were driving back, getting some garbage. Then we got this one right here, paying fifteen twenty nine. I think kind of random with the payout. I'm not expecting it to move, but it is from two of my least favorite places to pick up from, ah, to pick up food from. But can't pass up 1529 less than three miles i think is what it said from big buns the only reason why i don't like big buns is just the parking uh and then i'm just not a fan of crumble cookies but it was ready now we're four minutes away from the drop off after this i believe we will be at 150 plus so not a bad wednesday considering hey we started the shift with an hour schedule from 11 30 to 12 30 and we made it work so overall zero complaints from me Man CD one. I want a little bit of money on the side. It's a win, win, win all around. And the whole iPad thing, you know what? It's a vibe. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. You guys give me your thoughts. What do you guys think? And everything is flying in the car right now. Um, but yeah, I think if you have a good way of, of mounting it, and I think I do, it makes perfect sense. And I can just go inside. I need to pull up the DoorDash app on my on my Android or even on my iPhone. And after that, after I do whatever I need to do, I need to show them the app. I can just foreclose it there and just keep going on the iPad, you know? So I think it's a win, win, win. And I do still think my conspiracy is that this whole adding a third order 
towards uh, the drop off is only on Apple, I think. I haven't seen this on, on Android. Or unless it just hit my market today, which is, I guess, possible. So I don't know. Anyways, let me get this order just dropped off. See you guys in a bit. Current time is 6.15, so we have a little a little under an hour or a little over an hour left. Um, can we get to 175? Can we do that? Maybe, maybe. Maybe we'll get another $39 banger like yesterday. Who knows? Anyways, let's go ahead and keep it going. Let's go. Okay, guys, so we got the orders dropped off here from Combo Cookies and Big Buns, damn good burgers, which I actually haven't had a burger from there, but I'm assuming it's good. It looks expensive though. Like a burger is like $12. $12 for a burger, that's insane. Anyways, we're almost at the drop-offs here. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me backtrack. You're probably thinking, what drop-offs? After doing the last two orders, we get this order here from North Italia, 625. I think it's like 1.8 miles, something like that. Uh, gave me old school vibes. We're seeing the 625 as the, uh, you know, the payout. Because nowadays, you know, they're, for the most part, they're showing the, the full payout, if not more than before. It was 625, 650, you know what I mean? But now it's not showing that more, not, not always, but they're showing more of the amount, which I'm cool with. Um, but anyways, the food was ready. Uh, it's just a spaghetti and meatballs and a sweet tea. I'm not expecting it to move. But the fact that the food was ready, totally worth it. We're going to make 6.25 in, 10, in less than 10 minutes. So I'm pretty happy about that. Anyways, the current time is 6.30. We got an hour left here of dash time, I think. Well, yeah, an hour. Basically an hour. Can we get to 175 plus? I hope so. We're close. We're close. Um, I guess it'll... I guess I'm going to... I guess it depends on what's going to happen after this order. Um, perhaps an order from Fintai. I haven't been there in a minute. Um, I gotta make sure that my Grubhub is on because I'm not getting notifications on Grubhub unless I have the app actively open, which is kind of dumb. Um, so it's kind of annoying. Anyways, we'll see you guys. Hey guys, we got the order dropped off here from North Italia. Um, and I forgot to mention this order that I got before this one that I declined, obviously. Now, not all catering bag orders are good. They might You might think that way, but no. There are a lot of garbage like this one right here. Or even yesterday when I showed you some of that garbage. This one is going like all the way in Ashburn, like a zone away. I'm not risking a cash tip for that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyways, we just got the order dropped off. We're making our way back here to the town center. And we'll see you guys on the next order. Let's get it. Okay, guys, quick update. So, we ended up uh, waiting for a little bit. Uh, and then we got this order right here from Senor Mons Taqueria. Dropped it off. And then my dash ended. I forgot it ended at 7. And I could not get back on. It wasn't busy enough, I guess. So we're going to finish the dash here at $163 with 96 cents. Not bad. I would say that's pretty good for a relatively slow day. And the fact that I didn't really have a shift the entire time. So, you know, I had like all these gaps in between and whatnot. But today was really about dashing with the iPad. Would I recommend it? Would I give this a five-star rating? I think so. I think if you obviously I was a little extra today taking it inside you know, uh, and things like that. Normally I wouldn't do that, I would just use my phone. And then when I, you know, when I get back in the car, I would just foreclose the apps on my phone and you just rely on the iPad. Um, I think I'll force putting it, put it in portrait mode. I think definitely helps a lot, as you guys can see. So you can see here, you know, what we did today, 163 with 96 cents. Uh, and of course the app isn't really, op oh, now it's busy. It's not optimized for an iPad, but you can still use it, you know? So you can still like, you know, you can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. I definitely think on portrait mode, it is a lot better. Um, but, you know, like I said, I did this because I already have the iPad, you know. And then, you know, what's interesting. You can't even dash on a tablet anymore on an Android. You can't even do that anymore. It's not on the it's not on the Google Play Store. And even if you download like an APK uh, from Google or whatever, like online, it doesn't work. Um, but you know what? I have noticed a couple of things that are cooler or I guess better for iPhone. For example, on Android, we don't see the gas price. You don't see any of that stuff. You know what I mean? And I'm still convinced that um, we got those, you know, third orders that keep coming in. is only like an uh, iPhone thing, I mean. That's what I'm guessing. I don't know. Okay, guys. So the uh, camera froze for a second. Kind of annoying. But anyways, I was, I was trying to show you guys. We still got the damn contract violation. 4.97 customer rating. 10% acceptance rating. Completion on time. We're sitting at 21,035 deliveries. That's a lot of deliveries, to be honest. But look. Over here, you can see the damn contract violation screen or whatever. Um, it's, you know, I already submitted my dispute, but I think if they were going to remove it, they would have done it by now. You know, order never arrived. What kind of BS is that? But, you know, we already did what we could. I submitted my details, told them, like, why would I steal food? That makes no sense. Over here, never mind. It tells me. 516. Oh, Chick-fil-A. It was for the Chick-fil-A. I just noticed this. Chick-fil-A order. Now, you think it's for that big one that was a banger? 
I don't know. I mean, I did go to Chick Fil A a couple of times. I don't know. That interesting. I don't think it was that banger from Microsoft, but I did go to Chick Fil A a couple of times. So who knows? Very interesting. I thought it was for a whole different order, and it's not. It's for it says Chick Fil A right here. Uh, interesting, interesting. But yeah, all we're gonna do is you know keep on going, keep on dashing. It is what it is. But yeah, I, I think I, I if I'm gonna I'm gonna dash with the iPad more. The only downer. No DUA app on on this, but I do edit with this iPad anyway, so it's, it's going to make it a lot easier for the screenshots and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to think I'm going to try more often, to be honest. Now, I think if you have a uh, relatively newer iPad laying around the house, give it a try. Now, I wouldn't go out and buy this just for that, you know. But if you have an iPad already, why not? Anyways, guys, that's going to be the dash. Remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Peace.